The topics and opinions expressed on the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4WN Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4WN Radio, its employees, or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4WN Radio. Books, beauty products, science, fashion, and glam talk. From Bollywood to Hollywood, it's Dr. Ashton Hashmi's radio show every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on W4WN Radio, the Women's for Women Network. And here's your host, international speaker, educator, award-winning entrepreneur, and best-selling author, Dr. Afshan Hashmi. Hello everyone, this is your loving host, Dr. Rafshan Hashmi, live from Florida studio of W4WN Radio and Talk 4 TV. And today, friends, we will be uh, reviewing uh, another book. Ad, but before doing that, I just wanted to remind you that these are my two books. Please go and buy these two books and give me an honest review. Through the sale of uh, these books, I finance these programs and through the sponsorships. And uh, th this program is syndicated worldwide to 300 million listeners. So just imagine if you give me sponsorship your your product will be promoted in such a grand way having uh, said that friends please go and buy these two books and this one uh, was also hot number one new release on amazon and these both were amazon bestsellers and for this book, The Outbreak of a Monstrous Infection, I want a movie to be made. So all those Hollywood, Bollywood, Netflix, Amazon, Roku, Apple Plus producers and directors listening, please contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com. Having uh, said that, friends, now I will ask Jason, my uh, sound engineer, to please play the first sponsorship movie. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rakshan Hashmi live from Aban in Virginia and I just wanted to say for my W4WN radio and talk for TV, I request everyone who is listening to please give a sponsorship if you want these shows to continue because uh, this show is syndicated worldwide to more than 300 million listeners so if you give me sponsorship you your product will be promoted to more than 300 million listeners around the globe and i also i wanted to tell you that to make uh, these kind of shows it requires a lot of money and energy so i just want to request a sponsorship and cheers and bye bye so that was the sponsorship uh, film the book we are going to review today is this one the cover of the book is this one and it says the official CIA manual of trickery and deception by H. Keith Melton and Robert Wallace. So this is the cover of the book. And now I will read about uh, the book. The official CIA manual of trickery and deception by H. Keith Melton and Robert Wallace. Uh, there was no information about Keith Melton on uh, Amazon and I looked also on Goodreads and there was nothing about this author but there is about author Robert Wallace on Amazon and here I go to read about Robert Wallace. Robert Wallace, a retired intelligence officer, also publishes under the name Bob Wallace. His first book, Nine from the Ninth, is a memoir of 1969 while assigned to Company E-75 infantry rangers long range reconnaissance patrol company in vietnam this was followed by spycraft the secret history of the cia spy text from communism to al-qaeda and the official cia manual of 
trickery and deception look for his newest project with co-author h keith milton the spy sites of philadelphia this volume completes a three book series of spy sites in washington philadelphia and new york which together provide the only one of its kind historical perspective of the impact of spying in american from the revolutionary war to the 21st century wallace books are definitive best sellers in the field of intelligence and espionage history robert wallace lives in virginia about the book once a top secret training manual for cia field agents in the early cold war era of the 1950s the official cia manual of trickery and deception is now available to the journal public an amazing historical artifact this eye opening handbook offered step by step instructions to covert intelligence operations in all manner of sleight of hand and trickery designed to thwart the communist enemy part of the company's infamous mk ultra C, a secret mind control and chemical interrogation research program this legendly document the brain child of john mulholland then america's most famous magician was believed lost forever but thanks to former cia gadgeteer bob valles and renowned spy craft historian at keith melton the official cia manual of trickery and deception is now available to everyone spy and civilian alike so this was uh, about the book and now i will read little bit from the book and this is the book we are talking about so forward by john mclaughlin former deputy director central intelligence and here it is and i will read This is a book about an extraordinarily American magician and the way his life intersected with American intelligence at a pivotal moment in its early history. John Mulholland was never a household word, word like the world famous as escapologist Houdini or more recently the illusionist David Copperfield but among professional magicians from the 1930s to the 1950s he was seen as the very model of what a magician should be urbane highly skilled inventing and pro- prolific he was very successful professionally entertaining mostly in new york city society circles he published widely on magic both for the general public and for the inner circle of magicians who subscribed to the professional journal he edited for decade the sphinx his impact on the art of magic was enormous mulhand 1932 book quicker than the eye was one of the first books i stumbled on as a magic struck boy combing the public library in the 1950s i fondly remember being transported by an author who seemed to have traveled the world and witnessed marvelous things i could only imagine so this was little bit from the forward and now i will read introduction the leg- legacy of mk ultra and the missing magic manuals magic and intelligence are really kindred arts john mclaughlin former deputy director of central intelligence so here it is in two th- In 2007 the authors discovered a long lost CIA file once classified top secret which revealed extraordinarily details of the agency's connection to the world of magic decades earlier the document part of project MK Ultra shed light on a fascinating and little known operation the employment of John Mulholland as the CIA's first musician and accomplished author and America's most respected con- of his day malholland 
authored two illustrated manuals for teaching CIA field officers how to integrate elements of the magician's craft into clandestine operations, due in part to the extraordinary levels of secrecy surrounding MK Ultra, the manuals were considered too sensitive to be distributed widely, and all copies were believed to have been destroyed in 1973. Nearly 50 years after they were written, rumors of the existence of a long lost copy of the magic manuals continued to fly through the corridors at Langley, but many intelligence officers thought they were a myth. To understand the CIA's first musician and how his remarkable manuals came to be, it is necessary to recall one of the most dangerous periods in U.S. history. With its establishment in July 1947, the CIA, the CIA received two primary missions, prevent surprise foreign attacks against the United States and counter the advance of Soviet communism into Europe and third world nations. Officers of the agency, as the CIA became known, would be on the front lines of the Cold War for four tenths decade fueled by nuclear stalemate, incompatible ideologies and associations. Soviet government this and a Soviet government obsessed with secrecy at home the US arts USSR's security and intelligence organizations, the KGB and its predecessors, scout the internal population and abroad they attempted to undermine foreign governments aligned with the West. So this was uh, a little bit from the from the book I, I am going to re I'm reviewing today in this show. And uh, friends, I just wanted to remind you that I have uh, reviewed thousands of books uh, uh, as well as makeup and cosmetic products, as well as uh, uh, movies and TV serials and web series. So please contact me if you want a review of those and in this program, and I will give you a very reasonable rate. And now I will ask Jason to play the second sponsorship film. Hello. So at this point, I again want to remind you that these are my two books and through the sponsorship and the sale of these books, I finance these programs. So please go and buy these two books and give me an honest review and also give me sponsorship and I will give you a very reasonable rate and you can contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com for sponsorships. And uh, having uh, said that, friends, now I will go on a break and we'll be back soon. Would you love exposure for your business product or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email to info at talkformedia.com. And now let's hear from some of our sponsors. Chapter 2 how Jugar leads to multi-sector success stories in India, including definitions of the Jugar management principle business model of the book, The Modern Mughal Mentality, New Strategies to Succeed in India and the Global Marketplace. Inspiration True Jugar is an inspiration on how to create products using technology that meet the price value equation. According to a Harvard Business Review article featuring expert Prahlad and Marshalkar, most innovation programs are built on the assumptions of affluence and abundance. We see the rich and the young in both the developed and the developing countries demanding environmental friendly products and services. 
is they also believe that affordability and sustainability are crucial to driving successful business today new technologies and radical business models are important not only to penetrate mass markets in india but in the entire world by reconfiguring all areas of the business structure they will fold monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. OMG, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now! The world is depending on you. And now, back to Dr. Afshan Hashmi's radio show. So now, friends, I will give my thoughts on the official CIA manual of trickery and deception by H. Keith Milton and Robert Wallace. And here is my review of this book. I was very curious when browsing Amazon website, what is this book about? Interesting history book. The first half of this book is actually a history of the program and the magician who created the manual. That is the better half of the book and quite fascinating, at least for someone who, like me, has little knowledge of CIA programs in the early Cold War era. I love to read about history and what better than to read about CIA programs program and educate myself i loved reading it and give it five out of five stars so this was my review of this book and friends as you know i have uh, uh, reviewed thousands of uh, uh, books as well as uh, beauty products, cosmetic products, makeup products, and uh, uh, movies, uh, web series, and TV serials. So if you want me to review any of these, then please contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com and I always give a very honest review and, uh, con and do contact me and I will give you a very reasonable price having said that friends now i will go on a break and we'll be back soon would you love exposure for your business product or service to over 300 million potential listeners send an email to info at talkformedia.com and now let's hear from some of our sponsors A monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. Oh my God, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to Amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now. The world is depending on you. The Outbreak of a Monstrous Infection, Chapter 1, 1964 to 2018, and this is the sample track, and it is read by Dr. Rafshan Nahid Hashmi. 
In a sprawling bungalow in Potomac, Maryland, USA, lived Dr. Honey Singh, a board certified internal medicine and family practice physician, along with his beautiful wife, Baby Singh. Baby Singh was a fashionista and was funding women's causes through her Honey Bay Foundation. She had a ladies' book club by the name of Baby's Glam and Glitzy Club, which had many glam and glitzy ladies who were professionals living in Washington, D.C., Potomac, Maryland, Virginia, and even Beverly Hills, California, as well as elites from all of America meeting at her place on the last Wednesday of every month discussing various aspects of charities they wanted her and Dr. Honey to fund. In this club, there was a wide spectrum of career women. There were doctors, lawyers, actresses, business owners, and models to name a few. In these book club meetings, members would come prepared after reading a book of a famous woman author and that author was even invited from any part of the world to give her presentation followed by a Q&A in this prestigious and elite gathering. And now, back to Dr. Afshan Hashmi's radio show. Friends, today uh, to make this program more interesting, I will tell you how I came up with this uh, look and what makeup products have I used today. So it is just, you know, to make the things very interesting. I am no makeup artist or anything, just to make things interesting while giving a review, a beauty and a book kind of a segment it is. So the book I have discussed and now is the beauty segment. So I wash, uh, uh, I clean my face with Crickland facial uh, uh, toilet wipes and then I, this is the primer spray. I apply this and then I apply Vital Glow and this is from Shop Miss A and this is also from Shop Miss A and I apply lip balm. It is also from Shop Miss A and then with this uh, uh, beauty blender and this is from CVS I got. I browns uh, let me and this is the bronzer and today uh, I have used lot of bronzer and I, when I was doing it, I didn't realize, but it is a lot of bronzer. Uh, so I, uh, so this is the bronzer I have used. This is the blush I have used. And uh, the blush and bronzer I have applied with this brush. And this bronzer and blush also is from Shop Miss A. So let me show you. These are the two brushes AOA Studio F12 USA uh, from this brush and from AOA Studio F14 I applied bronzer and blush and and as I said I applied a lot of it today without realizing it's getting too much and so this is here from Shop Miss A bronzer and blusher and from Shop Miss A I applied finishing powder and uh, for, for under uh, and then I applied uh, this powder with this brush and here is the it this brush is also from shop Nisei AOA Studio F19 and through this I applied uh, through this uh, brush I applied little bit of this powder and it is in soft light and it is the loose powder under underneath the eye after I I applied the concealer and concealer is 100 candid and revlon and i got it from amazon and so first i applied this and then the loose powder and uh, after i applied the pressed powder here 
then i applied this uh, golden dream aoa 0355 so this is what it is glow baby liquid highlighter and uh, so just see how much preparation it uh, looks and the uh, in my eyes i applied this the pink color from here and little bit of the brown color here uh, down the brown color this one at the very corner this one this one and uh, in the corner uh, this one i applied on my eyes from this and this is also from sharp missy violets are blue so i i applied this and then for my eyes i applied this pencil and this one and this one and they all are very good so i'm showing you how much preparation it takes you know and then after that i applied this setting spray so how much preparation it takes to come to a show so please give me a sponsorship because it takes lot of energy and time and money you know to come and give these kind of shows having said that friends now i will go and yes send me some cosmetic products makeup products uh, and uh, web series tv serials movies and books to review and i will give you a very reasonable price and you can contact me at afshan at drafshanhashmi.com and these are my two amazon best selling books please go and buy these because through sponsorships and this uh, sale of these books i finance these kind of shows and for this book i want a movie or a tv serial or a web series to be made so So all those Hollywood, Bollywood, uh, Netflix, Amazon, uh, Apple Plus, Roku, Netflix. Please uh, contact me at Afshan at uh, directors and producers. Please contact me at Afshan at drafshanhashmi dot com. Having uh, said that, friends, now I will go on a break and will be back soon. Would you love exposure for your business product or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email to info at talkformedia dot com. And now let's hear from some of our sponsors. Chapter two: How Jugar leads to multi-sector success stories in India, including definitions of the Jugar management principle business model of the book The Modern Mughal Mentality: New Strategies to Succeed in India and the Global Marketplace. Inspiration: True Jugar is an inspiration on how to create products using technology that meet the price value equation. According to a Harvard Business Review article featuring expert Prahlad and Ma- Marshalkar, most innovation programs are built on the assumptions of affluence and abundance. We see the rich and the young in both the developed and the developing countries demanding environmental friendly products and services. they also believe that affordability and sustainability are crucial to driving successful business today new technologies and radical business models are important not only to penetrate mass markets in india but in the entire world by reconfiguring all areas of the business structure they will fold
a monstrous infection is spreading worldwide. OMG, is this a simple infection or a deliberate attempt to ruin the human population? Or maybe it's bioterrorism. What is this global infection and who is spreading it? Help us find out. Go to Amazon and search for the outbreak of a monstrous infection. The human race needs your help to make this go viral. Go to Amazon.com and read the outbreak of a monstrous infection to find out what happens next. Go now. The world is depending on you. And now, back to Dr. Afshan Hashmi's radio show. So now I will continue reading from the book I have reviewed today in this program, the official CIA manual of trickery and deception. Dr. K and here it is. Dr. Sidney Gottlieb, Chief CIA Technical Services Division, 1966 to 1977, Phil Franke. Dr. Gottlieb and his chemists expanded their research during 1953 to counter another un unanticipated Soviet threat. The three year long Korean War had stalemated, and the alliance of North Korea, China, and the Soviet Union seemed on the road to, ma to mastering the art of mind control. Such a capability could render soldiers and possibly entire population vul populations vulnerable to communist propaganda and influence. Reports reached the CIA about Soviet clandestine successes with mind control and newly discovered capabilities to brainwash, recruit, and operate agents with the aid of drugs. Mind control appeared to allow the communists using a combination of psychological techniques and newly developed pharmacological compounds to remotely alter a subject's mental cap capacities and control his free will. Despite limited research on similar topics during World War II and the early 1950s, the science underlying the reported Soviet successes remained a mystery. America needed to understand the scientific basis of mind control and develop safeguards and, if necessary, application for its application applications for its own use so this was little bit more from the book and now friends i will sign off from this program and see you next wednesday at 7 p.m u.s eastern time and tomorrow on thursday at 6 p.m u.s eastern time i will come every week i come on this one at 7 p.m u.s eastern time on w4wn radio and talk for tv and tomorrow and thursday at 6 p.m u.s eastern time i come on hollywood radio which is k4hd radio and talk for tv at 6 p.m u.s Eastern time. And also, I have my private company, uh, uh, StreamYard, which I give time to time. So, I need sponsorships for all these three programs. And these all programs are syndicated worldwide to 300 million listeners. So just imagine if you give me sponsorship, your, your product will be promoted in such a grand way and in a very reasonable price. Having said that, friends, cheers and bye-bye. And now I sign off from this program. You have been listening to Dr. Afshan Hashmi's radio show on W4WN Radio, the Women for Women Network. Tune in live right here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Would you love exposure for your business, product, or service to over 300 million potential listeners? Send an email at info at talk And remember, if you missed any part of this show or want to hear it again, find our featured show on iHeartRadio, where all past episodes are available on demand 24-7. See you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time.